we're here at the Bosch Technology Center in Bangalore and we're here at their test track currently. We're going to test some of the systems that you're going to see in your car in the future. Some of it about driving, some of it about connectivity. Let's see what the future holds. Bosch is the world's largest automotive supplier and files approximately 20 patents every day. A lot of the research and development, particularly low-cost technologies, is now done out of India. And today we're going to test one that's still under development. Today I'm driving uh, Bosch's e-clutch that's being developed at the moment. Um, this is basically like you have drive-by-wire, this is clutch-by-wire. Um, it looks like a conventional car in all senses of the term. I have three pedals, I have a manual gear shift and just now I'm driving it by using the clutch so every time I change the gear I do use the clutch but the clutch pedal feels lighter, it feels much easier to use and it is assisted in the sense if I come to a stop which I'm going to do just now the car won't stall even if I don't press the clutch so all I have to do is really get into first put my foot down and get going again what it can also do is in um, well slow driving conditions when safety parameters are met um, it disengages the clutch even when you're in gear so it lets you if your foot is off the accelerator it lets you coast so say when you're slowing down at a traffic signal or something like that and even when you're in gear normally there's a lot of friction that happens with the engine this is taken away when the clutch is disengaged you don't really feel it you don't really notice it and what it's doing for you is saving you a lot of fuel and bringing down your CO2 emissions. The e-clutch can actually save 5 to 10 percent of fuel consumption. So not only is it easy to use, but it will be lighter on the wallet too. How is it different from the AMT we've seen? Well, for one, you really have to shift the gears in this one. It won't change them for you. All it does is operate the clutch for you. Now what I can also do is use it like, well, say like an automatic but with a manual shift, which I think is really nice. I mean, have you ever been on a guard section round the corners and thought, ah, this automatic gearbox, I don't know which gear I'm in and I'd really love to shift a second round the corner. Well, you can do it in this car just without pressing the clutch and you can come down the gears. It's still under development, a lot of tweaking still has to be done, but this is the technology of the future. So that's what will make driving easy. But here's something that's going to change the way our infotainment systems work. So if you look into this, this is an 8-inch uh, capacitive display, uh, similar to uh, iPad or iPhone. So it, it will recognize most of the uh, gestures like uh, swipe, uh, pinch. It is having a lot of features uh, that include uh, audio, their FM, AM, and also XM, and also Pandora internet uh, radio. Uh, HD ready is also uh, supported and we have an uh, inbuilt navigation uh, system and also it's uh, having a smartphone uh, connectivity so we can pay a phone up to 10 and is also having a powerful uh, speech recognition system. The uniqueness is uh, this is having a natural speech recognition system so you need not to read out the predefined uh, the commands it can understand the uh, fluent uh, English. Phone command. Say call followed by the number or contact name. Call Vani. Call Vani. Is that correct? Yes. Calling. Yes. So either you can uh, disconnect call or accept the call in the uh, steering wheel control or via. Uh, center stack HMI display. Uh, for example, in the uh, cluster, just to avoid deviation uh, from uh, the driver, attention from the center stack, so you can just uh, swipe in. Uh, so this context, whatever there in the center stack, uh, to the uh, cluster, so it will uh, get into the cluster context. A lot of functions that we already use, but just made easier and advanced. There are also some safety value additions. So, like you see now, the display is a little bit cluttered. Uh, there are a lot, there's a lot of information there, but usually so much information is not required for the user all the time. So as uh, time passes, maybe 15 seconds or 20 seconds, the information that is not required for just plain viewing fades away. There are proximity sensors uh, on the display on the center stack. 
when your hand gets closer, the proximity sensor fires and then we uh, put the elements back on again. That's all about technology that we can hope to see in the future. But with the deregulization of diesel, we also wanted to know what it meant for the diesel systems at Bosch and the future of diesel engines in India. We caught up with Dr. Frederick Boking, Regional President Diesel Systems Bosch Limited, to find out more. It is very good that this happened because uh, with this we have really a stability uh, and the market will now say what is the really demand of diesel and gasoline vehicles. Uh, in this moment where you have subsidies, you have the risk that subsidies will change, positive or negative, and then you have a problem. Uh, so we appreciate this. Uh, the change in the market after subsidies, we had, in the moment we have no subsidies for diesel, and uh, you see that now, after this, also the diesel price is dropping down. And we don't see at the moment major major uh, difference and that the chair really is, is uh, changing. Regulations will come. Uh, you saw when you looked from BS3 to BS4, uh, there is no major cost in addition. It is clear when BS5 will come for passenger car, it will be the DPF. But at the end, the total cost will be not really huge for uh, such a DPF proven technology in, uh, in Europe. So I will say this uh, change from BS4 to BS5 will ha have no major impact uh, on the diesel share. And it will stay really com comfort and uh, affordable. That's not a big ticket.